Hey Gemini, this is going to be a reading for you and we're going to use these question cards to find out what Spirit wants to talk about today. This will lead us and guide us. What does Spirit want to talk about for you today? What is this reading going to be about or at least what's going to be the first part of it? This is a general collective reading, not a personal, not a one-to-one. -one. So you need to use your intuition to know if this reading is for you or what parts are for you. If one part doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean the whole reading isn't for you. So take what resonates. Okay, nice. I'm gonna use this deck to find out. So we have, is my current job in alignment with my higher purpose? If so, how? If not, why? Why not? So we're going to use that as a guide to what we're asking today. So maybe they want to tell you something about your current job. Maybe your current job isn't in alignment. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> also, this reading is meant to be timeless, which means I don't think it matters when I create or post this reading. What truly matters is when you found it, that's when you were supposed to find it. When it's a sign for you, if it is a sign for you. Now, if you want a general collective, I mean, if you want a personal reading, my brain, I don't know, I just woke up a little while ago, my brain's all over the place, but um, if you want a personal reading, you can get it on my website. The link is down below. It's www.bossasswitch111.com. So if you're having any problems knowing if this is for you, then you definitely get that. Be sure to like this video and share this video to help support this channel. And of course, if this reading resonates with you at any given time, please let me know down in the comment section. And of course, make sure you are subscribed and hit the notification bell to be notified when I put out another video so you don't miss any of these videos. Is their current job in alignment with their higher purpose? Let me know using one of these cards. Is their current job in alignment with their higher purpose? I'm use a regular tarot deck for this. I mean, I think this is like a yes. We have the page of pentacles. Let me just see, let me tell you what I see in this card and I'm gonna to try to figure out if that answers that question. Um, so we've got challenges in the background with mountains. She doesn't seem to worry about that. And she's manifesting something. She's out, she's an alchemist. She's got these potion bottles. She is manifesting something, a nice offer for her. So. Your current, it could be saying yes. It could be saying your current job is in alignment with your higher purpose. Either you're manifesting something within your current job that is your destiny and you're already working on it or you're going to use your skills or your money or whatever that you're making in your current job to manifest your destiny. Because I think you are going to be manifesting something that is in alignment with your soul's purpose. Um, you're working on it because she is manifesting and she's alchemizing. So you're gonna change whatever situation you're currently in, um, maybe even pretty effortlessly, I don't know. She's, she's just like pretty fucking magical here. Um, like she's very, um, skilled in whatever this is. So whatever your soul purpose is, you're very skilled in it. Even if it comes from past lives, even if you don't know you're skilled in it, you are. So you're going to very easily be able to manifest some kind of soul purpose opportunity for yourself. But is it the current job? I don't know if it's like, if you're in an office job, but your destiny is something, you know, spiritual, um, like light worker or something. I don't know if your current job is your destiny, but it could be in alignment with it because it could be giving you the skills you need or it could be giving you the money you need to do your higher purpose. So I'm going to have to get a little bit more on this, but I do feel like you have this, if, if this offer here is your destiny or your sole purpose or gets you on the path to it, then you are very skilled at creating that offer or that opportunity. Even though there's challenges in the background, you just don't seem to be phased by that. Um, so the pages are messengers, so you might get a message. 
um, with an offer. And it's a page though, it's not a king. So it might start off kind of small and then grow. But is your current job aligned? I don't think that's a no, it's not a no card. I'd be a yes card. I just don't know if your current job is your sole purpose, but it is aligned with it. And, you know, maybe soon you'll be, I don't know, we'll do timing in the bonus extended. This, this first part is always long term. So at some point you're going to be manifesting an offer to come in that's going to, if you're not already aligned with your, your sole purpose, you will be. Um, is the current job in alignment with their higher purpose? I just couldn't tell with that card. Is the current job in alignment with their higher purpose? Because I can't tell if that's you, if that's your current job. Ace of Cups wanted to come out. We'll see if that comes out. It seemed like it wanted to come out. Ooh, you are the Empress. Nice. So maybe you're a twin flame. If so, that means you're a light worker. So if you're currently like in an office job, then I don't I wouldn't say. Because if you're a twin flame, you're a light worker, and that means you want to do something that helps people. So if your current job is helping people, then it's definitely in alignment with your your sole purpose. Um, but somehow, some way, your current job is giving you the skills or the resources you need to be able to manifest um, something that either is your sole purpose or is in alignment with your sole purpose. So your current job um, is something you needed, I feel like, um, even if it was just to get money, to save up money, to start a business, but you're the empress, so you're fucking abundant. You can manifest anything. I told you with the Page of Pentacles, I thought, Man, she seems like she's learned a lot about how to alchemize. She seems like a pretty good alchemist here. So either you have or you will learn how to manifest really well. And the Empress also has a wand. So she's kind of, you know, able to just sit there by the window and think about what do I want and just make it happen. So you are, maybe you're not there yet. Maybe you're not an Empress yet. As far as like learning the law of attraction and stuff like that. But you have it in you probably from previous lifetimes. It's gonna come natural to you. Um, maybe, you just, maybe in this lifetime you have to learn a little bit more because she is a page and that offer might come in small at first, but then it'll grow. You're gonna grow from a page to an empress, you know? So um, as far as your life purpose goes, you're gonna sit in your power. You're gonna step into your power. You're gonna, um, long-term, I don't know about short-term, but long-term, you are going to find your soul purpose and do it and step into your fucking power and be this fucking boss bitch, bitch empress. Yeah. But, you know, right now, you might be just kind of starting to manifest an offer, learning how to manifest. Um, and is your current job in alignment? Yeah, I definitely think your current job is in alignment. But again, I just don't know if it's because that will be your sole purpose. 100% or if it's just like, okay, I'm making good money now. I can save up my money and then someday I'm going to want to go start a business and maybe on the side, I, I do some light worker shit and then eventually I'm going to need that money. So it is an alignment and that was the question. Um, okay. There might be a time coming up in the future where you need to rest and meditate on it. Rest and or meditate. We have the four of swords, which is all about resting and meditating. Um, you might get a little burnt out with your current job. Right now, yes, with the first two cards coming out, the Page of Pentacles and the Empress, I got good energy off that. I got like, yeah, like right now, you need to stay in your current job to get some kind of resources or skills that you're gonna need when you step into your sole purpose. But sometime you might get to a point where you're burnt out and you need to rest. And maybe that means leaving that job. Maybe that just means just taking a break and taking a vacation. Maybe that just means meditating on, there's gonna come a time in the future, like right now, I think it's in current alignment with your per with your higher purpose, but there's gonna come a time where, yeah, look at that, nice. Where you might need to meditate and decide, is it still in alignment? So maybe at some point it won't be in alignment but it is helping you get to success, to victory here. And it might also be 
triggering you to look at your inner demons. Maybe that's what that resting is. Maybe um, you'll work so hard. Like if you got like a nine to five job or something, an office job, maybe you'll work so damn hard and you'll get burnt out and it's going to make you look at what do I really want out of life? What do I, you know, with this inner demon here, he's, he's conquering his inner demon. So it's going to make you do shadow work and meditate on it and go and like go in hermit mode and go, I want to be alone. I want to rest. I want to just meditate on what do I want out of life? But for right now, I don't, I don't think that's coming up yet because these first two cards were page of pentacles and the empress. So I think for right now, it is an alignment because it's giving you the skills. It's allowing you to learn something that you're going to need to be able to alchemize the situation or money or something. Um, so for right now it is, but in the future, maybe not, maybe, um, you'll get burnt out and need to reevaluate and meditate on it. And then the six of wands, you know, it's going to lead to your victory though. So it's going to lead that whatever you meditate on and come up with is going to help you battle your inner demons and create success for yourself. And there's going to be people cheering you on and it's going to lead to your fucking happiness. Um, you're going to be so fucking happy with the outcome and it's going to lead to clarity as well. Sun, sunshine illuminates things. It leads to clarity. So I think long term, um, I don't, I still don't know, especially with the four of swords. I don't know if your current job is your destiny, is your purpose, but it is in alignment and that was the question. The question is, is it in alignment? So right now, maybe you're not supposed to know if it's your current purpose or not. I don't, maybe you're supposed to figure out your purpose yourself, but right now it is in alignment because it's gonna teach you something or maybe give you the abundance you need to do something else. But there will come a time where you get tired and burnt out where at least you need to rest and contemplate on it and it will force you to, to look at your inner demons, your shadow side and figure out and like contemplate, what do I want out of life? And I don't know if that's something else or to stay there. I Maybe I'm not supposed to tell you that right now, but um, it will lead to some kind of major success, victory, clarity, happiness, harvest. I see all this wheat here, harvesting success and people cheering you on. So yes, right now your current job is where you're supposed to be. So the question was, if so, how, if not, why not? So I think I just said that, but because it's giving you some kind of skills or money, some, some kind of resource you'll need. If, if, if it's not your sole purpose, if there's something else, then it's giving you something. Um, it's turning you from a page to an empress. It's giving you the skills, giving you the resources that you're going to need later on. Now, maybe it is your, your sole purpose. And maybe that's why you're just, it's giving, you know, giving you the skills that you're going to need for that path. Um, but there will come a time where you do get tired and burnt out and you need to take a step back. And that might mean that you want something else. Um, but because you did all that training before, it's going to help you with what you do next. Um, but if you do stay in that job after this period of rest and meditation, by facing those inner demons and finding out what do I want? What do I truly want? What is best? What does my soul want? Because if it is your higher purpose, your soul will feel the calling. Your soul will want it. So you will have this victory success. It will lead to such success, such harvest. Oh my God, such happiness. So you are probably, you know, if the energy keeps going the way it's going, you're going you're gonna to end up really fucking happy. But your current job is necessary, or at least it has been, for, um, for your future with your higher purpose. It was in alignment. Okay. So that's what we have for the first part of the reading. That was a pretty cool reading. I like that. I like using these cards. It allows me to kind of branch out and not just do the regular whatever. Um, and so now I'm gonna go into the bonus extended reading where we look at, okay, what do we need to know with your current, as far as your current job and how it is in alignment with your purpose, what do we need to know for the next six months to a year or sooner? Um, are you gonna get burnt out in the next six months to a year or sooner? Are you going to find success with your higher purpose in the next six months to a year sooner? Or what does it have to do with your current job? We'll try to figure out what they're trying to say with regard to that. We'll get a lot of extra information for you. We'll also get some advice, maybe. Like, uh, maybe we'll get some cards that tell you what you need to be working on right now and how that's going to help your current job or your future job, your, your sole purpose. Um, maybe, we, maybe we'll get some sole purpose cards. I don't know. Um, I'll just have to see what I feel pulled to, drawn to, but we do get a lot of extra information that will help you. So if this 
question is of interest to you, if you feel like this is for you and you want to know more, go down below, click the link that takes you over to my Patreon and you can sign up immediately to watch the rest of this reading. And it doesn't just get you access to this one bonus extended, it gets you access to all of the bonus extendeds that I've done up until this point and all of the bonus extendeds that I do going forward. So it's a lot of extra information and it's only costs $5.55 to get a month's worth of access. You don't have to stay monthly, but I truly appreciate those of you who do. It is what's going to support my channel and keep me doing these readings for you and um, allow me to do my light work full time. So thank you so much for your contribution. Plus it's a nice energy exchange because you keep getting all the extra details that will help you to get to this clarity victory success because it's not set in stone until it comes in the energy can change so you want to get that advice you want to get that guidance from spirit you want to get all that you can so if this resonates with you you're going to want to make sure you watch the bonus extended go down below click the link and it'll take you immediately over there you can watch this one and all the rest of them have access to that for whatever time period you pay for so it's a win-win awesome investment and if you want a personal reading if you're not sure if this is for you or if you have any other questions uh, go check out my different offerings on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. The links should also be down below in the description box. And for now, I'm going to go to that bonus extended. And I know you're anxious to find out how to get to this victory success and what you need to do, maybe how that aligns with your purpose. We're going to find out a lot more information for you. Meet me there.